Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. Now it's been a bit of a quiet week on the workshop, but when I say quiet, it doesn't mean there's a lack of quality. Quantity maybe, but we have a lot to go through. Let's do this. And to kick things off this week, we have the modular tower cranes by Uresia. A very, very clever idea and very good use of the mods to be able to create your own cranes. In terms of their height, you can do whatever you want. The skies are your limits. And the pack itself comes with a number of different assets. You have the crane base, crane section, a couple of top sections, a mountain section, and a few of the upper parts of the crane. So all in all, you have everything you need to add to your construction site, a realistic crane. Sparks is up next with the table and speed custom blocks. So these are very common in the UK and it's just a way in busy areas to slow cars down. They're almost like speed bumps but a little bit more, a bit more respectable for your car and damages. So as you can see we're showing off three items here. We've got the standard table and then the speed table lump which is just in front of us here, but also the Rhode Island, something that is very common in the UK and a great asset to add into your roads. We've had a huge influx of farms and farming accessories and thank God for Thomas 13 to he has brought us the farming equipment prop pack. And as you can see, a number of different types of trailers to go along with your tractors. So this pretty much covers everything that you would possibly want in terms of some farming props. Fantastic models. These are going to look great with your farmlands. We all love a nice monument and here's one again from Jez. It's the Verdinand Fort Monument from Paris. As I've often mentioned, I do like the way that Jez textures his, well, his buildings and everything he builds, but particularly the actual colour and the textures used for the figurine on top of the horse does look outstanding. It's been a busy week for Feinblied. This week we start off with the Berlin Fire Station. Now this creator is absolutely outstanding at Berlin assets, but particularly he does a lot of European buildings and if you go onto his workshop you could download all of those assets and build yourself a very realistic European city. Now this fire station itself is a 3x7 custom building and well, what more can you want? The nighttime views are beautiful as well, but not only that, we have a fire station, but what else would you like to see? Well, next up we have another asset from him. It's the European Police Headquarters. Now, yes, this is a very big police station, very large, even for a headquarters, but they do exist and what characteristics this holds. Not only that, you don't have to use it as a police station. If you're thinking more of just a modeling side of things, you can create this into anything. It could even be a school. Obviously, you're gonna have police cars coming out now and again, but all in all, the texture levels, as always, are fantastic, and it's just a nice big building to have. Up next, we have something magical, and we normally do when this creator is involved. It's the water treatment from Ronix. And what's so special about this model is the wind turbine-esque propeller that's going round and it's animated and what more can we want? We want to have animation in our buildings and our props as much as possible. A fantastic design. And up next we have these beautiful Paradise Valley plazas from the one and only King Leno. Now it's quite difficult for me to show off these in their sort of real environment but if you check out King Leno's recent videos on Paradise Valley 
you'll see these in some fantastic cinematics. Now we all like a pretty bridge and it's good job so does Geron. Now this Tempazan bridge is a beautiful model. Again, you have to add the road yourself, which takes a bit of getting used to, but once you do, what you've able to create from that is beautiful. Well worth the effort, and just look at the design of this bridge. Up next we have Nos Gecko with the Nevels Town Houses version 2. Now I don't think I need to spend much time talking about the abilities of this creator. As always the texture levels are out of this world. Roofing textures again as well look extremely nice in this particular model. But what I like best about this model is it's a bit different to the rest. And what I mean by that is it's got the little extension on the back and the position of the windows themselves aren't something that's very natural in terms of typical builds we see on the workshop. Nighttime views again, we do love these little curtain views and different types of lights coming out of these windows. All works well. Talking about beautiful houses, we have these UK Detached Pack by Mac Welshman. Now for me personally, being a Brit, this is pretty much looking out of my window. These houses are pretty much exactly what I see on new builds and estates in the United Kingdom. The levels of textures are out of this world and what I love best about these models is it's not just the buildings he's concentrated on. Look at those back gardens. They are very well detailed and not something that we see very often. I know a lot of us detailers prefer not to have them but when they're based on this quality we don't mind. And the nighttime views again. You can really get the sense of these curtains and sort of props in the windows. And for me personally I really like this. Is it a horse? Is it a camel? No, this week Beard Mungie brings us the Little Rock Inn. Now this building is perfect for these low density rural areas and it really has that feel about it. I particularly like the texture of the bricks. Very similar, well they are the same as the um, walls around the building. But it gives that real nice sort of American flair to this building. Again, the corrugated roof as well, very well detailed. All in all, a beautiful model and detailed well enough that us heavy detailers won't even need to touch it. Up next, we have another release from Los Gecko. It's the Asara Prisons. Now, I could have spent hours trying to replicate a beautiful prison but someone's already done that and it's Skibbeth. If you want to check out these buildings in motion check out his collaboration with $2.20 where you can see a beautiful built prison with all of Los Gecko's prison buildings. And to finish this week off, we have the classic EMU American commuter train by Buswickenhausen. Now this train itself, again, very highly detailed. We don't expect anything less from this creator, but there's something about trains. I just love them. I could watch this for hours, and this is a very poorly designed train track as well. But as always, we do love to have vehicles in the game, and they do add a lot more detail to cities than you might think. Without cars and trains and planes, your cities won't seem anywhere near as realistic as they do with them. So we are very grateful for these beautiful vehicles being created, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more to come, certainly from this creator. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. 
But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.